But of course, question being now, once we turn to the issue of brain injury and want to use this, there are lots of questions. For instance, when should we actually inflict this kind of training? Should we go as early as possible? There could be very good reasons to do so. As I argued, once you get brain injury, you get this whole cascade of secondary and tertiary brain injury. And why on earth wait with something that might actually preserve those neurons? It might be, if we can clinically find a way of doing it, be very relevant to go as quickly as possible. However, there are also reasons to doubt that early would be all that good. There are lots of reorganizational processes going on in the brain immediately after brain injury. A lot of changes take place, especially in the region around the brain, the site of brain injury. Uh, genetic uh, coding is changed, not of course the genetic code per se, but the utilization of the genes. Uh, in some ways, regions of the brain close to the site of injury are turning back to phases that are not like, but at least more similar to what was the case during early development. There are reorganizational processes going on. Uh, there are biochemical changes that, for instance, promote synaptic plasticity in certain parts of the brain, etc. There are lots of automatic uh, processes, and some within this field argue that probably we should refrain from activating right after brain injury because we, if we do so, we might actually inflict even more damage. We might uh, upset various uh, self-organizing processes that would otherwise, if left alone, be able to preserve more of the brain. So, in short, maybe we should not go early after all. So, early or late? Question mark. And let's see whether we have some indications. And, of course, yes, we do. In this case, uh, the brain injury is inflicted at a particular point and uh, a voluntary training, that is treadmill training, the animals are left in cages where they can step from their cage into a huge wheel and have a little run, is offered to them either within the first week after brain injury or a couple of weeks later. So you have an early or a delayed uh, activity. So this is the level, those green arrows here, uh, this is the level seen um, just with the sham um, running wheel. And these are the ones if we have now the situation with early. So here you have the brain injured um, here and you have the consequences of training in the same hemisphere as the brain injury, this is unilateral brain injury, and in the contralateral hemisphere. And as you can see, the early situation is actually making things worse. This is the mean level of BDNF, and it seems that if you apply this training early after brain injury, you actually make things worse. You have less BDNF, at least measured uh, as it was measured in this study. And, however, if you take the late situation here, you see an improvement. So, in this case, it is clear that at least when it comes to BDNF levels, no, you should not go early. You should wait for, in this case, at least a couple of weeks. And let's see, functionally, because one thing is BDNF, another is function. And if we have here now the situation again, we have the sham groups here, and we have those passive, and we have those in running wheels, and this is just a reproduction that in normals, yes, you have a cognitive improvement uh, in case you exercise, and here you have the situation in case you are brain injured and you have early training. And as you can see, while the step here in the normals was that exercise improved your solution to the task, in this case, your solution got worse with exercise if it's early exercise. However, if we take the late exercise, we have a clear improvement. So, in other words, the message from this seems to be relatively clear um, that you should go late. You have pretty much the same message in these cases. Again, these are the protein levels. And the message here is very clear. If you go early, you have an 
rather negative consequence, so no, the message is clearly late. You should not go early, you should wait. However, always if you ask a scientist, there is hardly never a situation in which there wouldn't be a but. Uh, remember this one? The very first one I showed you, um, these animals, as I told you, went straight from surgery, well, actually from anesthesia, into their activation procedure. These animals got as early as it was possible, at least if we wanted them to do anything uh, on their own, uh, into a physical activation uh, exercise program. And they improved tremendously. So the conclusion that it should be late will have to, to be taken at least with a certain moderation. This is obviously not saying that it's wrong in the studies I just showed. It's just indicating that the generality of those conclusions might be doubted. There might be other factors uh, playing a significant role here.